we're asked to determine the first and second derivative functions given f of x equals cosine of two x to the fifth. Notice f of x is a composite function where the outer function is the cosine function and the inner function is the function two x to the fifth. And therefore we'll let u equal the inner function of two x to the fifth. So if u is equal to two x to the fifth, we can think of f of x as just cosine u and differentiate cosine u with respect to x to determine f prime of x. Notice the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u times u prime. So showing some work here, if u is equal to two x to the fifth, then u prime is equal to the derivative of two x to the fifth with respect to x, which is 10 x to the fourth. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of cosine u with respect to x, which once again is equal to negative sine u times u prime, which is negative sine of two x to the fifth times u prime, which is 10 x to the fourth. Let's go ahead and write the derivative function as f prime of x equals negative 10 x to the fourth times sine of two x to the fifth. And now to determine the second derivative. Notice to find the second derivative, we will have to apply the product rule because we have a product of two functions of x. So f double prime of x is equal to, let's let the first function be negative 10 x to the fourth and the second function be sine of two x to the fifth. So again, applying the product rule, we have the first function of negative 10 x to the fourth, and then times the derivative of the second function, which is sine of two x to the fifth, and then plus the second function of sine two x to the fifth, times the derivative of the first function, which is a derivative of negative 10 x to the fourth with respect to x. So the next step, we need to find the derivative here and here. So f double prime of x is equal to, again, negative 10 x to the fourth times the derivative of sine two x to the fifth, where the inner function u is going to be two x to the fifth. The derivative of sine u with respect to x is equal to cosine u times u prime which gives us times cosine of two x to the fifth times the derivative of two x to the fifth, which is 10 x to the fourth. And then we have plus sine two x to the fifth times the derivative of negative 10 x to the fourth, which is negative 40 x to the third. Let's go ahead and simplify. F double prime of x is equal to in the first product, we have negative 10 x to the fourth times positive 10 x to the fourth, which is negative 100 x to the eighth, giving us negative 100 x to the eighth cosine of two x to the fifth. And then we have plus sine of two x to the fifth times negative 40 x to the third. Let's write that as minus 40 x to the third times sine of two x to the fifth. So we could leave the second derivative in this form here, but let's go ahead and factor out the greatest common factor of 20 x to the third. Actually, let's factor out negative 20 x to the third. So we can express the second derivative as f double prime of x equals negative 20 x to the third times the quantity five x to the fifth cosine of two x to the fifth plus two sine of two x to the fifth. Either of these last two forms are fine for the form of the second derivative. And again, our first derivative is here, f prime of x equals negative 10 x to the fourth times sine of two x to the fifth. I hope you found this helpful.